Yeah, <laughs> what's happened? Yeah, oh, Mendes. <laughs> you can tell you've not had a pizza in a while, look. Oh. You can't handle the sauce. Wow, we are one day out to the NFM UK Effective show, which I'm so excited about. This is the show I've been waiting for. It is my show number two. And we, as always, will take you along the journey with us. We are literally starting the journey to Wolverhampton, where it will be hosted. We've actually been there before. We have. We did a mock show with NFM UK in Wolverhampton, which was really good. We highly recommend if you haven't done a mock show and you are prepping or you're wanting to compete, like definitely do it. It is nerve wracking, but it is so worth it. And you get some stage time, which is very good to blast out some nerves. How are you feeling for this show compared to last week? My mindset is so much better compared to last week. I think I went very stressed into the last one. I made it such a thing. Because it was my first one back from obviously being one year out of competing let's say and I put a lot of pressure on myself for it and it was a very stressful and long day as you guys know if you've watched the previous YouTube video so oh, if you haven't watched it <laughs> press pause now press pause and then go and watch the last the UK DFBA show day video yes it is one to watch it as Chris crazy. brings home crazy so if you haven't seen awesome. it so mindset for this one is in such a better place i'm excited for this one i'm going into this one more for like myself and to have fun with it enjoy it we had like proper deep chats in the bath two nights ago or was mm. it the night yesterday it was a deep bath <laughs> we said that every show we do now like going forward as we do have uh, quite a few coming up just enjoy each one as it should be an experience that you cherish for life because who knows when next you'll step on stage so enjoy every moment and we've done like months and months and months of, of hard work sacrifice and grind and struggle and overcoming challenges and all that so like when you're under the lights and the music's on and you've got the tan on you may as well just go out and enjoy it because otherwise if you turn the show into a stress it just makes all those last nine months that we just put that hard work in for pretty pointless so as Karina mentioned the last one was I don't think she's even mentioned half the stuff that actually happened at that last show and I'll leave that to her to maybe if she wants to do a separate maybe video. when we're at the hotel or something yeah. or a separate video I think it's well. worth it's definitely worth sharing because it was uh, pretty hectic so but hey ho we are on the journey we're excited uh, we have how long an hour and 20 minutes to Wolverhampton but we are going to stop for a coffee and to eat our next meal and then I have my tan because I'm going to become an Oompa Loompa again at half six today which is exciting Tan, so we've arrived at a Premier Inn. I'm actually looking forward to seeing these bigger rooms. Mm. Premier Inn's bigger room, so. Then Travel Lodge. I've got more space to do our cozy. Let's check it out. <laughs> Which number? 10. 10. 210. Boom. 210. Let's go. Yeah. Love it. So, new addition to prepping the day before a show. I don't know why we didn't think of this sooner. 
first of all, I just want to say big up Premier Inn, definitely over Travel Lodge. The rooms are more spacious. Uh, there's aircon. There's aircon. So from now on, Premier Inn's only if possible. Um, the next edition, Mendes came up with this today, is we bought the air fryer. Because it's so cute and small, we can travel with it. Now, I don't think you're meant to bring in that kind of stuff, so you had to sneak it in in a Tweety Pie bag. But we got it in, um, so now we can actually have warm food, which is amazing. First. You have to do it carefully because of the alarm. Yeah. So no burning food. Yeah, so first like up, we are going to hit our next meal, and then Mendes is off to get tangoed. So that's exciting, and the bed is prepped with the dark sheets and the dark pillowcases. You know the drill. We won't necessarily go too much into detail into the room because if you check out the last video, we did like a detailed room tour of MTV Travel Lodge. Mm -hmm. So you can check that out if you are interested in how we kind of set everything up for basically making everything super smooth and easy before show day. Rugby's on, so we're going to be chilling and eating, pretty much. How are you feeling, Mendes? Hungry! Me too. Oops. Wow. <laughs> Lift it up, let's have a look. Wow. Gee whiz. I think I'm allowed to eat now, right? I, I'm glad I'm not doing bikini. You <laughs> absolutely smoked me. Anyway, we'll catch you after the tan. Right, so Mendes is getting her tan done. And uh, we're at Energy Fitness in Wolverhampton, and the uh, the gym owner here has absolutely hooked me up. So he stuck me on a massage bed for ten minutes, free of charge, which is absolutely epic. And the legend has hooked me up with a squares bar for free as well. So shout out to him. Shout out to Energy Fitness in Wolverhampton. Wow, this is absolutely epic. Uh, just like that, boom. Been holiday, you know. And you got me holding ice, no. and you look so warm and tanned. <laughs> Don't feel warm. <laughs> oh, so now for Mendez, it is just about. Chilling out, relaxing, shooting some hoops <laughs> outside the school when a couple of guys who up no good. So yeah, time to put the feet up. I'm gonna take my free squares bar, it's which so I'm gonna eat. This goes to show when you are just genuine and offer help to people without any expectation of anything in return. And I've got a free squares bar and a free massage. So there we go. There's your lesson for today. Be a good, a good human and life will maybe reward you. Got some of that as well for my peak week next week. You reckon you look Irish? No way. Right, but I'm gonna reload one top tip in here, right? We mentioned this in the last show day video, but this deserves another mention. So, what we do, this was Mendez's idea, is we bring uh, the dish soap so that we can wash up our Tupperware and cutlery and stuff as we go so that obviously we can reuse it. And then also before we go home, we can clean everything so that when we get back home, we don't have to do a load of cleaning. So pop some uh, dish soap in, a, in the Tupperware. There we go. And then you're, you're sorted. Sorted. How you feeling though? Good. You feeling chilled? Just hungry. You feeling chilled? Still hungry than the last time. Hungry for the W. There we go. Or hungry for the D. No. You're supporting. Obviously I've got to support South Africa. I left a bit of my heart in South Africa as well. So for those of you who don't know, we lived in South Africa for around 10 months. And during COVID. during COVID, but we was also there during the World Cup when South Africa actually won the Rugby World Cup. We had the best, best, best time with the with the best people. Shout out to Vol and Anel. 
if you watch this for hosting us we ended up staying with them it was meant to be for a night i think we were there four days went to like an amazing world cup party and uh funny enough south africa beat england in the final and i was dressed up like a south african with the fallies so they called fallies yeah so that was great memory so definitely left a bit of my heart in south africa and we will definitely be returning let's go Boba. let's go boot how's it boot How's it boot? For the O's. For the O's. Oh, that's Cape Town. For the O's. For the O's. There we go. I forgot your berries. Oh, and I get berries. You meant to have berries. Sorry, Sam. What am I going to do with this woman, Sam? <laughs> Fine, when I go clean catabolic and super stringy. <laughs> when I wake up tomorrow like a skeleton. Lack of berries. I haven't had my 50 grams of raspberries as well, Mendez. Oh. I'm actually using Frank's hot sauce on my yogurt. No. Me, you've got veins in your shoulders. Hey! I love a man in the I would, kitchen. I would have had more veins if I had my, my damn 50 grams of raspberries. <laughs> well, at least you did that. Look at that god. This small plate. 40 grams of chicken and 15 grams of dark chocolate. Yay! Good morning, guys. Happy show day number two. I am feeling very good this morning. Managed to sleep well. Just some regular toilet breaks as normal. But the tan didn't get ruined, which I'm very happy about. I'm looking darker. I'm looking leaner. And I've hit a new weight, which is absolutely crazy. In one week compared to show number one to now, I am looking so much leaner, which is what we wanted and what we were aiming for. So trust the process, guys. I'm going to go into it a little bit. Um, but for now, this is me. I'm going to do my check-in and we can get my food for the day laid out, which I'm excited about because I'm so hungry. Meal number one about to go down. Chris is still out and about doing his fast cardio in steps. And then I'm going to make him some breakfast. We have bought the air fryer, which will make it so much easier because then I can make him his turkey bacon mushrooms. And then I'm going to try boil an egg in the air fryer. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Watching Gossip Girl as well. So chilling. Whole morning, or most of the morning, is just about chilling. Then I have my tan at my top coat tan at 11 15 then makeup at 12 and i should be on stage about three ish i think so three between three and four i should be on stage which is really nice compared to my last show we, last weekend where i only got on at eight that wasn't very nice so my recommendation is if you are looking to compete like research the the federation see how they run maybe watch other youtube videos and some feedback from other people also in terms of your category that you do decide to do for example i did bikini open at the uk dfba and there was a lot of different bikini bodies uh, that i all criteria that i know which i've competed in before like pca two bros and so on anything in the uk They've called it beach body, but it's the same criteria as bikini because you get different bikini categories such as bikini trained, like more bikini athletic, those kind of categories which are a little bit more, the, the women hold a little bit more muscle, a little bit more like shredded or leaner, let's say. So yeah, just do your research because I felt like it was really difficult show to compare. I'm not, obviously, I'm not making excuses. I placed fourth and I'm happy with it, especially reflecting now as as in my 100%, let's say, I was probably maybe 60%. So I think for this show, I'm coming in maybe 80% and then we'll see for the next, hopefully we'll get there for 100. So yeah, as I was saying, do your research, make sure that the category you've signed up for suits what you're aiming for, like your look and yeah. Um... Anyway, I wanted to just quickly touch on progress as 
if you guys don't know, Chris and I run Dream Team Coaching and we have a lot of lifestyle clients. So for lifestyle, it is like progress seem, sometimes seems a bit a little bit slow because you are including things like social events. You're getting like off plan meal. Your output isn't as high. Maybe you're on in salary deficit. Like all these factors play a part, right? And and prep, like prepping for a show is so much different to um, a lifestyle goal, right? You want to lose X amount or this amount of your waste. It can be the same depending on how hard you want to push. But for lifestyle clients, it not necessarily is that strict because you want to be able to include maybe your kid's birthday, have off plan meal on the weekend with your partner, like you know, have a have a glass of wine or whatever you enjoy. So for us it's been like cut out all of it. So we haven't been socializing. If we have, we've been taking our own meal prep. We don't we haven't dr- touched a drop of alcohol since Bali. We haven't had off plan meal apart from after our first show. And that was a Nando's for me as I have had this show now. And maybe after the show, I'll have a little bit more of a, let's say, a naughtier off-plan meal. But then again, it's it's back straight to the grind. And then also, if you have been following our journey, you will realize and notice that progress hasn't been such a drop as it has been in this week for me. So, for example, this week between my two shows, I dropped about a kg and a half. And when you are... At this level of lean, a kg and a half is a lot. So you see how much leaner and how much tighter I've come in. But again, it has taken 20 plus weeks of being on it. And even like Chris goes into it about our bulk. Our bulk wasn't just a dirty bulk where we just ate whatever we want. It was as strict as prep. So we stuck to a meal plan, even though it was, yes, we got to have like loads of food and but it was loads of oats loads of rice loads of chicken you know yes we had a one off plan meal a week and that was the only thing we diverted on and then maybe a glass of rum on the weekend but we didn't go overboard and it was structured we did meal prep it was like to the t so for those that may be like it is normal to compare yourself to other people but for anyone that is comparing themselves to us like, just remember that our story isn't your story. What you are going through and what you're committed to and what you're able to do possibly isn't, like, what we've been able to commit to. Like, we've moved to, like, away from our families just so that we could isolate ourselves and be in our routine, locked in. And not it's not for everyone. And it's, it's something that we felt we needed to do so that we could bring our best in a short time frame even though it's been like five months, right? So progress is takes time. Progress takes sticking to it consistently. And initially, like, especially if you check my weight chart, my weight didn't come off just like this, right? It went up and down, up and down. And more ups than downs. And then some weeks it doesn't change. And then you think, what the hell, you know? But you need to keep on it. You need to keep these habits in place consistently over a long period for that like from where you started to where you are now for that actual line to be like that because through the whole process it will be like this like literally like a heartbeat um, and then slowly sloping down and then you'll get to a point where sometimes it drops like quite a bit but then you have points that it choose up quite a bit and that is just how our body react to certain things such as stress or sleep or you know whatever's going on in your life so where i'm going with this because it's a lot <laughs> a lot to do fit in a small video but where i'm going with this is don't be so quick to compare yourself to someone else and their journey because their story isn't your story and like I said, what they are able to commit to maybe isn't what you are able to commit to. Especially if you have a family, you have kids. Chris and I, yes, we have families. <laughs> but we moved away from them. And we don't have kids. And it's just the two of us. And we're both on the journey. So it's not like Chris is not on it and I'm on it. So we don't have to deal with that. Right? We're both on it. We both eat the same meals. Just he eats a little bit more. We're both going in for cardio. We both train so in that sense for us it's easier but i'm not taking away from like the hard work we've put in 
but it's been come easier because we've put that in place we've put that structure in place we've set a solid foundation from day one like our routine doesn't change no matter where we are like we went to portugal we went to bali we still trained we still ate roughly to plan especially like when we were in bali we still um you know cooked we bought food from the markets yes we had some off plans but most of it was still to plan and then when we go into prep that is when it's like super strict so when we went to go visit my parents we took all our food as you guys can see in our previous youtube videos they were eating cheesecakes birthday cakes having the best south african Portuguese bride ever my dad's chicken is the one and even though it's chicken we didn't have it so goes to show if you know if you really want to get to your goal quicker than you are currently you're just going to have to make a little bit either a little bit more sacrifice or rethink your structure rethink your routine so that you can make it easier and maximize the time you are putting in the effort you are putting in so that you can get there quicker all in all my one and a half kg drop from in a week was an accumulation of all this work and I have didn't change anything so it goes to show that if you are sticking to it for a long enough period there will be a breaking point where your body will respond and you just gotta wait for it <laughs> because it will happen but you need to wait for it and put in the work consistently patience and then I think what makes it easier and the whole journey easier is if you try enjoy it enjoy the process enjoy being a work in pro progress because if we all got to our goals quick then what's the point right like in life we just got everything we wanted like we wouldn't you know we wouldn't appreciate it you gotta go through the shit you gotta go through the struggle so that when you get there you appreciate it you're grateful for it so enjoy the journey guys like the whole process and then i think that's what chris and i've reflected back from last show last sunday to this show especially for myself because I, I really let the last show stress me out and made it a stressful thing instead of an enjoyable thing and even we said last night that this whole process just seemed more relaxing i slept better like everything's just going more positively because i'm in a positive mindset i'm enjoying it i'm like oh every bit of it is exciting because it is exciting it's my journey it's what i'm doing for me because i want to do it so you might as well just enjoy it milk it love it soak it up yes love it <laughs> i'm gonna eat this stop chatting breeze <laughs> and um enjoy my gossip girl take this out i have the fan on full blast as the windows don't open <laughs> Open. and i'm just about to do this so i'm making breakfast for chris and it is a hopefully a freshly made breakfast got the egg in there his mushrooms and then afterwards i'll do his um his turkey bacon rashes so i've got the mushrooms in there i've just put a little bit of salt and cajun spice and then the egg and then we're gonna see how this goes. I've never done this before. And wish me luck. Play. We'll see how it turns out. <laughs> wow, breakfast. Air fries are absolute game changers. Check this out. Put it on this. I put uh, I put some salt and some hot Frank. Five tums. No. Wow. Uh, this is what you call the hotel breakfast. Where was that thing I hid earlier? Under the bag. <laughs> look, much better than that. <laughs> Right. Fish and chips. There, there we go. go look. Wow, health. Tuck in. All air fried. That's how you stay on track See? while traveling in your pants. And it took me 20 minutes.
was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall So soft as well. Honestly, the best brownie you've ever had. Ever. Honestly. Wow. Does it taste better with, with medals around your neck? <laughs> wow. I did it. She absolutely we did smashed it. it. I'm so super proud of you. <laughs> it's such an amazing part of us. It's like for me it's a more enjoyable experience watching you up there shining than even me being up there having fun, so. Oh, yes, I did! Yay, pizza's here! Wow! Quick, run. run, run, run! Does it smell good? Yeah. We got so, the goods. Again, like, if you haven't seen our video from last week, we actually stole a pizza. <laughs> we got given a pizza. Yeah, well, technically, it wasn't our fault. Mm. She just didn't charge me for it. Exactly. I said, Sam, 
There's no way I'm ordering a medium, so Karina had to order it because I'd only caught ordering a medium. Because <laughs> you get a large for two pound more. No, oh, yeah. The proof that it is medium. Two mediums. It was so tempting to just pay the extra two pound for a large. And the size will for me, so don't worry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we are gonna enjoy this. Yeah, yeah and chill out because we need to. It's been a long weekend and we have a busy one tomorrow yeah. but it's been a great one and thank you for watching if you guys obviously enjoy our videos please like please subscribe and we will be coming to you with more show days because we have so many more to come because tomorrow's peak week for me <laughs> peak week number three That's is it three crazy. right yeah number three yeah <laughs> what's happened <laughs> oh man this <laughs> You can tell you've not had a pizza in a while, look. No. You can't handle the sauce. All on my tan, I'm gonna eat tan and all. <laughs> Behind this, this is reality. Behind the scenes, tissues, there we man. go. I'll get tissues. So you are a pineapple on the pizza person. There all we day, go. every day. Not every day, I wish. No. Enjoy, Mendes. I prefer pizza in 20 something weeks. Wow. wow. Sign off words. Peace. There we go. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs>